it all Baby, come tell me how much you spend Yeah, I got more in the safe I'ma just give you a hand Oh, why she talking to me? She probably saw me pull up in the bin Man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Casper TV And I'm back at you with another banger of a video Alright, so today, like I told y'all before I get a lot of DMs and a lot of questions all day long They coming back to back don't think I'm ignoring y'all. I swear to God, my DMs are flooded with messages. And at a certain point, come on, y'all can't expect me to just sit down and go through 300 DMs of people asking the same questions about grills. That's why I made this OnlyFans. I got to get straight to it. I got to get straight to it, y'all. I made an OnlyFans that literally answered everything you need to know about making grills. It's packed full of stuff in detail. Go check it out if you're serious. All right, so this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm gonna be going through some of my DMs and answering some questions. We're doing a Q&A today, straight from the IG DMs, Q&A. So stay tuned if you wanna know some of the questions that some of the people asking. You might have similar questions and I'm gonna answer them or I'm gonna give you an answer as best as I can, you feel me? Cause a lot of these questions are answered through some of my videos. Let's get straight to it. All right, so the first question. Yo bro, been watching your grill series, just wanted to ask, do you sand your grills down? No, I don't sand my grills down. I pretty much just lay it on that flat. It's no reason for me to sand it down. It's pretty you no know, smooth when I start it off. All right. My boy asks, "What's good? G ran across your grill making video. What products do I use to make a grill?" In this case, you can revert back to my first grill video. I show you every list of material that I use, and on my OnlyFans, you feel me? I give you a link to all of them. Just throwing that out there. But yes, check out my first video. I'll let you know every material you need to start making grills. Go check it out. Go check it out. Next up, my boy asks, how do I find a casting place for my grills? I actually get this question a lot. I get this question a lot because it's one of the hardest things to figure out. It took me about, almost. I swear to God, it took me about like a month and a half to figure out how to find a casting place. I could go on and explain it, but I'm sorry, y'all. I wrote a detailed description of my OnlyFans because it's a lot to explain. This real sauce, that's real sauce I'm trying to tell. It's real, it took me a long time. I'm trying to tell, it took me forever. It took me forever. Just check it out, man. Somebody asked, they said, I'm about to do my first mold, you feel me? And they've got their wax, they got all the materials. They pretty much want to know, do I have any tips for them as a beginner? I ain't even gonna look at my response because I'm about to tell y'all what it is. If you really wanna make grills, you are going to have to practice a lot. Sit here and practice. Some stuff, it don't really come overnight. You sit there, you make teeth molds all day, you do the cement molds all day, you wax all day, you feel me? Eventually, you're gonna start catching on and coming together with your own like tricks and stuff like, oh, I'm pretty much getting this down pat, you feel me? It ain't gonna come overnight. Practice makes perfect, literally. Your boy still has some trial and errors, you feel me? But yes, you really gotta sit there and perfect your craft, you feel me? You gonna get it down packed, you got this. Another person wanna know, how much does it cost to get my grills made and to get my grills polished? I'm not gonna tell y'all how to get my grills made right now since I currently own my own shop. I can't just do that, you feel me? Can't do that. But I will let you know how much it costs to get jewelry polished. Jewelry polishing in general, whether it's a ring, whether it's a necklace or something like that, it don't cost that much. It shouldn't cost you no more than $15 or less, okay? $15 or less to get something polished in jewelry turn, you feel me? So if it's a grill, come on now, it'd probably be like $9. That's some sauce right there. Like I said, you feel me, I'm scrolling through these DMs. A lot of y'all got the same questions, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, the different questions, all right? Give me one second, give me one second. Another person asks, they just watched my video, do you do your own cement casting and wax work? Yes, I do my own cement and wax work in this place right here. You feel me? When I first started off, I tried to take the easy route out. I tried to take the easy route. I'm going to tell you all a quick story. So I took my wax to a jeweler or I took a cement mold to a jeweler. And I said, you know, you do jewelry. So is there any way you can just wax these teeth up so I can make it easy? You feel me? He said, yes, of course, he's like a master jeweler, but you know, a master jeweler only, it only says so much. The work, it shows me a little more. So he sent me a picture of this finished wax mold and it didn't, it didn't look good. It did not look good at all. And he was like, yeah, bro, I got you, but I'm gonna have to charge you about like $900 to 
It's not a joke. It's not a joke. He said he's going to try to charge me like $900 to get this grill made. $900 to get this grill made. Y'all, sit back and do your own work. Don't let nobody do it for you. Don't take the short route out. It's worth it in the long run. Y'all got this. How did I learn my wax work? Straight like this, man. I would be sitting around waxing up all day like I told y'all before. I would sit there. You feel, look at this. Come on now. Just take, I don't even know if it's going to focus. Let's see if it focuses. You see that? Oh, it's, a lot, it's a lot of light. But you see, the, you see how, how careful this is? It just take practice. Sit around and practice. Y'all, you feel me? It's not that. It's, it's a little hard. I ain't going to lie. It's a little hard. But you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. You feel me? It's simple as that. Teach, you can teach yourself a lot of these things too. The more you do it, I swear you will come up with your own little ways to get stuff done. All right, we're doing an intermission. We're doing an intermission. We are doing an intermission. Like I said, all these questions are pretty much the same. <clears throat> and I don't know how else to tell y'all y'all need to sign up for this OnlyFans, man. It's packed full of material. I'm about to make a commercial for you. I'm about to sit back. I swear to God, watch this. I'm about to sit back and make a commercial for y'all. Until the point gets across. Because I don't think my material gets everybody. That's why you need to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. For a page like mine where I try to give out tips and tricks, you need your post notifications or you're going to miss stuff. So go ahead and tap it right now. But moral of the story, like I said, we're dropping a commercial soon to promote this class. Because y'all, I'm going to get y'all right. I'm going to get y'all right. And y'all going to sign up. And you can ask me unlimited questions also. You can ask me whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. As long as you signed up to the OnlyFans. Straight like that. Casper TV game. Do I get my grills done at ATL, Atlanta? No, I don't. I'm in Chicago with it. You feel me? Me in Chicago, everything I do, we out in Chicago. You feel me? That's how I do all my work. Chicago. Alright? I'm not in Atlanta with it. Shout out to Atlanta though. It's a lot of y'all. Y'all come from a lot of places. I done heard Germany. I'm getting a lot from overseas. Shout out to all y'all who watch the channel. Gang, crew, Casper TV crew, you feel me? You know, this is a crazy one right here. This is a crazy one. So this dude hit me up. He said he from New York and he won 25 k $25,000 from a Young Dolph competition. Like, no cap. $25,000 from a Young Dolph competition. And he want to start his own jewelry business. And I'm like, ain't no way you just won 25 k from Young Dolph. He said, if y'all don't believe me, go on Young Dolph page and look. Show sure enough. I go on the man page. And guess what I see? I see this man right here, up there, with a big check, and it say 25K, and he with Young Dolph. I guess it wasn't no lie. But, before, I, more, look, 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 that's besides the point. If you want to start your own jewelry business, you got to know how to make the grills first. You got to know how to make the grills first. And you got to know what you're doing. It's simple as that. Once you know what you're doing with your product, setting up your shop, and making your clientele, it shouldn't be that hard. You got this. Do I do diamonds in my grills? I have never done diamonds in my grills yet. I actually met a lot of people who keep telling me they know how to do it for me. You feel me? Oh, I, I can get it done. If I want it done, I can get it done. I just haven't, you know, experimented with diamonds yet. You know, diamonds are pretty pricey. And I don't want to just be wasting money on throwing diamonds and you know, like teeth yet. You feel me? If you order it, I can get it done. You feel me? I give you a good price too. Just check me out. You feel me? It, it'll be a nice little experiment. But no, I don't do diamonds just yet, y'all. I find, I find, I find. Without giving y'all the full answer, how much does casting cost, okay? Moral of the story, if they charge you a ridiculous amount, check out my shop. Check out my shop. You see my prices. You can kind of estimate, estimate how much it might cost to get your grills casted, you feel me? I'll let you know if you sign up to the OnlyFans. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to do like one more question, knock this out. I just wanted to, you know, pop up real quick and let y'all know y'all all asking pretty similar questions and it's going to all be solved in a very similar way. I said it before. Check out the link below. But is using 18 gauge wax too thick? Yes. If you use an 18 gauge wax, I don't know. That's a little, that's a little heavy. It's a little heavy. And you don't want your stuff to be too heavy. These wax differences, they really make a difference. Okay? They really make a difference. If you want to ask some more questions, this is what I need y'all to do. Y'all can ask some questions in the comment box below. But first, you know you're going to have to follow me on Instagram. Comment under my most recent picture. 
Let me know you did it and I will answer your questions down below. Stay tuned for the next episode, Casper TV. We gone.